Welcome back, this is your instructor Victor Campos. On the previous video we created our key store file which is necessary to sign our certificate for release at the app stores. Go back to the previous video if you haven't done that yet. The next instruction number three, and these instructions are in the link provided in this video, the next instruction is to uh, use that key store file in our project. So again, following these instructions, we need to edit a file in our project to point to that key store file. I've opened Visual Studio and I have my CBDB project open, the one we've always worked with. Well now we're going to deal with a file that we haven't dealt with before, build.json. Double click to edit that. This is a file that has various items that need to be filled in so that your app is ready for release. Again, the documentation goes into detail of what to fill in here, but it's pretty straightforward. We're basically saying for Android, we are setting up our release options. We are in currently in debug mode, we need to set it to release. Where is our key store file? What is the password to that file? What is the alias in the file, the password to that alias, and what type of key store file is it? So I have my key store file in the desktop of my computer. I would need to write a path to that file on the desktop. So it would be something like c colon backslash etc. If you know the path to your desktop and that file, you can type it in. One way to do this a little easier is to temporarily copy our key store file into our project folder. So from the desktop, I'm going to drag and drop it onto the project level of the root right here, CVDB. I'm going to drop that in. It'll think about it for a moment and then add it to the project. This is a quick way to do this, but it's not the best way because you don't want to include your developer credentials in the actual project folder just for security reasons. But to make this a lot easier, I'm going to set it up this way. So key store now is in the project. So we can just type jones.keystore, the name of your file, of course. What was the password that you made up for your project, whatever it was. What was the alias you created in the previous video? It's probably your last name as well, like I recommended. And then the password for the alias, which is probably the same password from the first step. Key store type not necessary to fill in. So I'll save that. The documentation then says after filling that information, we need to switch our type of project to, of course, Android, which it always has been, but then release build rather than debug. We can see that here. We've always been working with Android, so we leave it as is, and now debug is going to be set to release. You can close your, you can close your build JSON file if you want. Then set this to deploy to your device. If we leave it as a simulator, it won't work completely, so make sure it's pointing to a device. So again, set to release, set to your physical device, then we can build. In the build menu, select build solution. We can go up here to build, build solution. Let it go through the usual processing and be on the lookout down there for any errors. Possible errors could include misspellings and other grammatical issues. So eventually you'll get a build successful, it'll take some amount of time, and then it'll say built the following APKs. So wherever you've got your project saved, you will have a brand new .apk file. I'm going to go to where that folder is, so in my case it's on my flash drive, in my CVDB817 folder, in the CVDB project, platforms, Android, build, outputs, APK. 
Now, how do I know this? It shows right here. It's on my flash drive, etc., 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 slash Android dash release APK. There it is, Android dash release dot APK. This is the moment that I created it. This is the final compressed and ready to release version of your project. I'm going to copy it to my desktop. And then when I look at it on my desktop, I'm going to rename it. This is the file that I need to upload to the app stores. So I can call it something like cbdb-1. This is the first version that I'm going to upload to the app stores. On the next videos, we'll look at how to create an app store account and how to upload it.